German brand. AV, I'm in LA tonight. American dream, I'm sleeping tight. It was 2K Sports, a special Martin Luther King Day edition. With Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. On the sidelines, we have David Aldridge reporting. Celtics swing into this game as part of their continuing road trip. It's a disappointing segment of the season for this team, no doubt about it, as the losing streak has continued, guys, to grow. I would expect for both sides to come out fast and full of emotion. Jason, just the nature of this rivalry. And part of it is they know each other so well. The team that executes best is likely going to come away with the W. Back to Lopez. Here's Giannis. And he can't bank that one in. And here's Holiday who will bring it up for Boston. Looking at the Bucks, GA. They've made the playoffs every year since 2017. And Kevin, as long as Giannis is at the helm, the best player in the world, guys want to play with this kid. Well, today is one of those very special dates on the NBA calendar. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And it's a day of reflection, a day to celebrate one of the truly great people in the history of this country. It's an honor to just be out here today celebrating Dr. King. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. Boy, a wide open shot from his favorite spot. That is one he'd like to have back. Now, here's Anadokounmpo. You talk about a player who can absolutely light it up. He averages over 31 points a game. Boy, I love watching Brooke Lopez go to work. Superb at playing to his strengths down on the box. Here's White, following the basket by Brooke Lopez. Pass to Persingas. And it's off the back rim, no good. On offense here, the Bucks. Lillard. Rebound by Drew Holiday. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be, because he is so strong in the paint. That's a crafty play. Understanding when to pull up off the bounce to get that jumper to go. Derek White is on time. Back to Lillard. The kick out to Ana de Kumbo. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. And this is where you feed Giannis. The closer he is, the more dangerous he becomes. Here's Tatum. Pass to White. Back to Holiday. And the slam dunk by Tatum. The assist. I'll tell you, that Bruce vertical Bruce. ability he has puts him in select company in NBA power forwards. May not have great size, but boy, he plays bigger than it. Milwaukee foul. And big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Substitution on the court. Two minutes remaining. Now here is Holiday. Two minutes. 11 points last game. Mr. to Persingas. And that one drops. Porzingis. Well, this is what you want to see. It's 7-3. Kristaps Porzingis finished through contact. And Porzingis had a lot of suitors, GA, over the summer. Eventually, the Celtics made the move for him. Porzingis rehabbed his game and value in D.C. With the Wizards rebuilding, he was a prime trade target. Boston went for him early, and he could be a difference maker for the Celtics. You know, the ability for Jason Tatum to be ready on the catch. Those opportunities make the game. 111 left in the first quarter. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. That's a jump. So it's the Celtics now. Celtics leading by eight. It's Brown on the wing. Takes the three. Offensive rebound. Portis with it. Now guarded by Tatum. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Portis can't get it to go. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. 
and what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. And you can see their strategy coming in. They want to control the paint. They have strength to get off any shot they want. They've dominated on the interior. Celtics leading by eight. Here's Benton. And oh, wow. foul. Okay. Way to play an attack goal and get to the line. Austin shooting their first free throws of the game. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. And, Kevin, they need to be consistent with their effort on the boards. You look at the box score, and they're at a definite disadvantage. Just look at what a sniper he is from long range. He's got such an unusual skill for a big fella. Assisted by. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Here's Payne. It's deflected. And they'll keep possession. And so it's the Boston Celtics. Catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Celtics. Their defense has been so aggressive right out of the gate, wasting no time shutting shooters down here with authority. And they've also done a really good job taking advantage of miscues. Their defense has been stifling in this one. Beasley left side. Boston and Derek White picks up the ball. And the Bucks with possession here. Eight-point game. Pass to Lillard. The wide open look here for Lopez. And really, they're going to have to figure out a different way to attack this defense. They're not getting many good looks at all. Their field goal percentage is scraping the bottom of the barrel. And the dunk by Lopez. Well, he may not be the fastest guy on the floor, but Brooke Lopez knows how to run the court. Nice rim run. And the rejection by Anadokounmpo. Connaughton. Some sour defense from Brown. You know, you can't impact a shot that close any better than he did on that possession. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Back to Beasley. Just five to shoot. Giannis wipes up. Corner shot. Rebounded by the Celtics. They're getting their first look of the season at the Bucks in this one. Yeah, and they're hoping for the season. Last year, they came out on the losing end. Well, if you leave someone that wide open, Derek White will put it on time and on target. And here's Holiday who will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Only giving up two points this quarter. Boy, you get a real glimpse of the explosiveness of Jalen Brown. What a big time finish. Jason Tatum. It's good. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Old. David. Thank you, Kevin. Chris Middleton is a huge part of the Bucks' offensive attack. Anna says we need him to be aggressive, taking over games. And asked whether Jason down the stretch Taylor. he needed to be the one to take over. Giannis says, nah, I trust this guy to death. If he wants the ball, he gets it. Simple as that. Kevin? You're so right, David. The trust factor is definitely there. Hey, thanks for the report. Oh, give credit to Lewis there. Outstanding work of recognizing the defense over committing. Want easy looks? Don't allow the defense to set up. What a beautiful fast break opportunity and the finish pretty good. Over in the corner, White. The shot by Holiday, no good. And Greg, with the coaching changes in Milwaukee, where are they looking for improvement? Well, Kevin, they, they've been dominant in the regular season, but the playoffs require adjustments. That chess match is where they hope to improve. Boy, that's too easy to miss, but somehow he finds a way to do it. Pass to Connaughton. Shoots over Brown. Off the left rim and out. Going for that shot in that situation 
is something that isn't going to help the offense. And in a way, by taking that one, he's bailing out the defense. It's just too easy to stop. Now here is Holiday. Following the miss by Giannis Antetokounmpo. Wow, how about the long arms and the timing of Jason Tate? Oh, there was <laughs> an amazing athlete. The, the length, the speed, the, the Giannis is borderline impossible to guard when he is playing downhill. Out to Porzingis. Off target from outside. Well, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. Lopez inside. A shot by out of the Kumbo. Nobody around. No good from Beasley. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. Bucks trail by five. And this will be the last possession of the quarter if they're patient. Well, it's amazing. If you finish quarters the right way, it can have such a great impact on the outcome of a game. To the inside. The wide open look here for Perzingis. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. As we get going again here at 2K Sports. GA, we've seen it over the last couple of years. The center position has come back in the boat. And Kevin, we were seeing teams go small. Lots of fours. Even traditional threes play the five. But with MVP level seasons, guys like Jokic and MB, the center isn't quite extinct yet. Well, the three-point shooting of Kristaps Porzingis is so prolific, you've got to guard him out there. Here is Lillard. Hasn't made one yet. And the dunk by Lopez. Go into the rack with the energy. And the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, gotta chalk that one up to some shaky defending. Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage in a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. To the middle. Jason Tatum. And slam dunk by Tatum. Jason Tatum is capable of explosive nights offensively. If you're the defense, you better lock in right now. No doubt, Craig, Jason Tatum is an all-NBA player. And this guy continues to improve. And JT's scoring average increasing in each of his first five seasons. I just love how he gets to the line more, being more aggressive. Tatum was the guy on a finals team at just 24 years old. Porzingis can't hit. And so Lillard will bring it up for Milwaukee. Celtics trailing the third pick overall both of those years. And they nailed those picks, yeah. getting Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum back to back, setting up their franchise for years. And he can't hit the second. And Greg, the way the Celtics have approached this season in terms of intensity, I think they clearly feel, though, they have unfinished business. And they've been so close to a title for a number of years. They've even been title favorites at times. It's part of the maturation process, as excruciating as it may be. And guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Celtics and there's the foul. It's on. Pass to Lillard. Back to Anadokounmpo. Giannis with the nice 80% shooting to start the third. Four for five. It's Brown on the wing. To the left wing. Back to Orford. From the baseline. Again, the Celtics good for two. You have to contest shots no matter where Al Horford is on the floor. That time, he's working the mid-range. Pass to Portis. Shoots. He sticks that one in from 20 feet away. Portis has got five points so far. Inside. And stolen by Portis. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? 
Thank you, Kevin. The Celtics are a powerhouse, but they also know they're going to get every team's best shot, and they've got to be ready. All-star Jalen Brown says comfort will kill you. These teams aren't waiting around to let us win the game. You've got to go out and prove it every single night. Success is earned every single night. Kevin, I hope to earn success tonight with my sideline report. <laughs> David, you are in the oh, Hall of right. Fame, my man. You have earned it. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, that basket to me is all about energy. Al Horford bringing it every night. Celtics leading by five. To the paint. Brown. Assist goes And finished off by Brown. Richard. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Oh, they're going for the throat. From Dane. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Back to Brown. Down low. Four on the shot clock. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Here's Pritchard. Misses the three. Terrific close out there. The challenge for three. It may be the hardest thing to do in basketball. Close under control, and he's more than up to the task. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Drains it from beyond the arc. Horford's got seven points. We've got 22 seconds left here in the third quarter. Pass to Bochamp. Timeout called the Bucks. Milwaukee timeout. Now, here's Lillard. He's a guy that can score, no doubt, averaging over 25 points a game. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Got it up. And a great show through three quarters as we enter the fourth. Who will carry the day? Celtics lead by the Celtics on MLK Day, bringing you the NBA. Here's Persingas, and it's sent back by Lopez. Oh, the long arms of Brooke Lopez effortlessly sends that back. To the middle. Who's back up? No good on the shot. Nice D from Porzingis. The kick out to Tatum. On the wing, Brown. Outside, White. Pass to Tatum. Beasley with the steal. Andre Kumbo with the ball. And Holiday picks him up defensively. Well, you love the instincts. Jumps right over that steal. The quickness defensively by Malik is nice. Here's Tatum. Jason Tatum. Throws it down, JT. Holiday. There is an imagination, a creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. Porzingis with the steal. Milwaukee and it's Brooke Lopez. First and so it's Holiday with it. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. They've held a 12-point lead early. Jason Tatum. Tatum gets the bucket. And taking a quick look here, guys, at the hustle stats for the Celtics. I like their defense tonight, and we don't talk about that side of the ball enough. Uh, you can really change a game when you get a bunch of steals and get out in transition. They're turning misses into makes. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a great round. I'll tell you, even though he's not playing his best basketball, the team has played well and picked it up. I love it. Molly to the left side wing. Shot clock at five. Pass to Lopez. Here's onto Takumbo. No good, and he's missed half of his 14 field goal attempts. Austin leading by seven. Here's Tatum. Cans the shot from the wing. Tatum's got nine points here in the second half. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. No good from Beasley. 
Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. To the inside. Milwaukee with the rebound. And, and you're just not going to see him do that very often. Usually when he rises up, there's a guarantee it's going down. And here's Boston. A great fourth quarter. Milwaukee just giving up two points. As Derek White did there. The line the first free throw is good. Derek White. Two shots. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Just solid. Really one of the very best there is at the free throw line. To the paint. The kick out to Lopez. Milwaukee the rebound. To end the cold streak. And Malik Beasley, good for three. You know this, when you're open, you can count on Brooke Lopez to find you. He uses his height to spot open teammates. Holiday gets the bucket. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. Mr. Persingas. It's Brown on the win. From past the arc, Jalen buries the long-range jumper. Now, Jalen Brown is now so legit from deep, boy, you better make sure you're contesting that three ball. That's how good he is. Outside, White. Trying to break that ice-cold streak. 